We want to turn now to allegations of racist slurs directed at, of all people, high school girls basketball players. It was during a game played last month in Camas, and Portland's Benson High School was the visiting team. Benson players say the racist slurs came from the Camas student section. Here's Tim Gordon. During a game at Camas High School on December 10th, Benson coach Eric Knox calls a timeout in the third quarter over what his black and brown skinned players were telling him. Later he wrote, throughout the game, both during play and timeouts, a number of my players told me one-on-one -on -one that they were hearing individuals from the student section using the N-word to taunt our players. Coach Knox wrote that in a complaint to the Camas School District. The district received the complaint on December 13th and says, the same day we launched an investigation led by a neutral third party and consulted with the Washington Interscholastic Activities Association. That comes from Interim Superintendent Doug Hood in a letter sent to Camas High School families this past Monday. Hood also wrote, racist slurs and remarks have no place in our schools or anywhere and will not be tolerated. We take these accusations very seriously and are committed to aiding a complete and thorough investigation. It is clear from game footage that Coach Knox had had enough for his player's sake. Referees had to stop him from approaching the Cama student section as he said, we're not going to do this anymore. And Knox later wrote in his complaint, based on my team's experience in your gym Friday night, clearly you have a lot more work to do around fundamental principles of diversity, equity, and inclusion. The Washington Interscholastic Activities Association helps keep sports going at Camas High School and 800 other schools in Washington. Executive Director Mick Hoffman got the letter from Benson's coach, too. Well, good for him for protecting his students, good for the students for trusting him to bring it forward. While WIAA is not the investigator, Hoffman is helping coordinate and watching what he considers a credible case closely. This is horrific. I mean, it's it has to be addressed. And so I appreciate Camus uh, leadership addressing it. I appreciate uh, uh, the Benson team bringing it forward. And, uh, um, you know, hopefully we can uh, get to a point where um, we're, we're preventing rather than reacting. In the end, Benson finished the game and won. And Knox added in his letter, the Camus players were great. None of my players or parents heard or felt anything hostile or racial from them. Tim Gordon, KGW News. So as we know, racism is rarely, if ever, an isolated incident. And in that point, we reached out to the Oregon School Activities Association. That's the agency that governs school sports. And they say they are investigating the Benson Camus game. And they also say they're looking into a December basketball game between Klatskanai and De La Salle North Catholic High School. According to the Oregonian, girls from the De La Salle North team say Klatskanai players used racist slurs against them. And in November, the Oregonian also reported that white football players from LeGrand High School used racist language to taunt black players from Gladstone. It happened during a playoff game, and Gladstone kids said every black player on the team heard the slurs. One comment they said came from a referee. LeGrand players denied making those comments. And recently we got an email from a viewer. She wanted to stay anonymous, but she wrote, I went to school in LeGrand and as a BIPOC woman, I never felt comfortable off campus, uh, off campus, excuse me. She said, I didn't feel fully safe on campus due to three white boys screaming Allahu Akbar at me, even though I am not Middle Eastern. We could go on. We found numerous incidents going back years happening at several different schools across the Northwest. In fact, it was such a problem that Oregon lawmakers have been trying to stop this for a while. Here's a clip from 2019. Two weeks ago, during a, a game and during and after a game between the JV and the varsity girls basketball teams from Park Rose High School and St. Helens High School, at least three young men started yelling the N word during the game and then followed the young women from Park Rose out to their bus continuing the racist comments. Yes, I'd call this a bias crime. So in 2019, Oregon lawmakers passed a bill aimed at trying to stop this kind of thing from happening. It's House Bill 3409, and it requires school districts to adopt policies that promote equity, dignity, and civil rights. And it also requires OSAA to address any reports of racist or derogatory behavior.